Hey friends, what's up? My name is Crystal. Welcome. Today I am unboxing something that I've wanted to get for a really long time. It's a weather station. I have wanted one of these for so long. I look them up occasionally whenever I'm online and able to just like shop around for stuff. But I never actually do it because it's not really something that we super need. We live in Connecticut and we, in particular where we live, I've nicknamed Narnia because we will get wicked weather when nobody else around us seems to be getting it. <laughs> like we'll have extreme winds here. I think it's just based on where we are, kind of in a valley, I don't know. The one that I got is, made by Accurate. This is what the box comes in. It says it's a set on top. It says a professional weather center with easy mount and five in one sensor. All right, let's see here. So it comes with the instructions and it shows all the features. It has a small mounting bracket. I'm not 100% sure where we're gonna be putting this yet in the garden. Just seemed like a good day to open this today see power cord oh this is cool this is the monitor for inside uh, this will show us what the weather station is actually reading it shows wind chill dew point heat index the two things i'm most excited about with having a weather station is the rain gauge the other thing i'm really excited about is the wind because we get wicked winds here. It will be so windy here and I will look up the radar and the weather and it doesn't say that there's wind. I'm really curious to see what it actually says. The other thing is it will tell us what the temperature feels like outside. Now our Alexa app and things kind of tell us that but it's based on the general area that we live and it's not specific to exactly where we live. This is the rain collector funnel right there. Then there's a solar cell panel here. That's to help convert sunlight into power for the aspirating fan that's inside of this unit here. The aspirating fan draws ambient air into the sensor to reduce solar radiation heating, resulting in a more accurate temperature measurement. Then in here there is the spot for the batteries and there's a little switch that's really small inside of the unit. The ABC switch that we use to synchronize to the monitor inside the house. In here is the temperature and humidity sensors. This is the wind direction vane. This will tell us which direction the wind is blowing. Back here is what connects to the mounting bracket. And then this one up here that's so much fun is the wind speed anemometer. So it's going to tell us how fast the wind is blowing. The funnel that collects the rainwater to determine how much rain has fallen goes into this hole here. But there is this filter that clips onto it to prevent leaves and things any kind of little debris that might get in there to prevent it from clogging. So that's what that filter is there for. It also comes with some anchors and screws. For the monitor, it does come with an AC adapter so you can plug it into an outlet in your house. It also comes with a USB plug. So if you don't have a wall outlet, you can use the USB ports to Keep it powered as for the display there are so many things on it that i can't even begin to talk about but um, there's a spot to plug in the power adapter in the house we can also have batteries in here as backup because we do lose power here a lot and having this still functioning even when there's no power would be really nice to have some of the features on it it it's gonna tell us everything that I just talked about on the weather station itself. So the wind speed, the wind direction, how much rain fell, that kind of stuff. The temperature, the current feel outside. We are right now, it's April. We are heading back into cold temperatures. So we're approaching freezing marks over the next few days or so. And then from what I can see in the long-term forecast, it's just going to climb up from there and it will stay that way. I hope <laughs> so that we can start getting seedlings outside. Having this and knowing exactly what it's like outside where we live is gonna be super helpful and is really gonna benefit our homestead, I think, in many ways. So I do have batteries. You need batteries. Um, you need AA batteries. 
All right, so I'm going to put the ABC button on B there. Put some of these high quality batteries in. This is all we had. Normally I would recommend using name brand batteries for things that are outside. Like for our automatic chicken door right now, we have name brand batteries in it and they last so much longer, but this is what we have. So that's what I'm working with. That's how that looks. There we go. I'm gonna remove this tape here. I believe this is the rain gauge stabilizer. So we're gonna remove that. This is the monitor that is gonna be inside the house giving us the readings from the weather station. I'm going to add batteries to it so we can set it up outside at the same time that we do all this so we can do it all at once. The weather station, is, the ABC button is set to B so we are going to do the same thing here. Set it to B like that. If we were using the AC adapter or the USB plug, we'd be we'll be plugging that in there. And then you can feed the cord through the hole at the bottom. But we're not doing that just yet. I'm so excited. This is like one of the best parts. This is the stand that goes with it. Now we're gonna set this up. So we're gonna do date and time. Okay, so we need to get to this button. English is good. Time zone is good. Daylight savings time change, yes. Ticker speed medium. That's fine. I don't know what that means 100%. I'm assuming this is the ticker and however fast this is displaying information. So now we're gonna change the time Today's date is April 21st, so you can change all of the measurements and the speed. So I believe you can change it to kilometers and centimeters if you want. You can do Celsius. I think we are good. So that is how that looks right now. I don't know if you can see, but I'm so excited. The distance between the sensor and the display, I think the max it says is 330 feet or 100 meters within each other. The display area, obviously it needs to be in a place that's free of not much dust, which with us, with dogs and things, my house gets dusty so quickly. I'm just gonna have to stay on top of dusting it. And to make sure that the temperatures are accurate, it needs to be out of direct sunlight. So we're gonna, Put it somewhere that it's not in direct sunlight doesn't get much dust and um, is close enough to an exterior wall that it will be able to get the readings from the sensor um, the sensor is designed to be outside all year round we're gonna try and choose a location that is free of obstruction we can always move it later i just kind of want to get it up there for now. Place away from large metallic items, thick walls, prevent wireless interference. So place units at least three feet away from electronic devices, TV, computer, microwave, radio. Locate away from humidity sources. We also wanna make sure that where I put it, it's not in an area that the sprinklers are gonna hit it. This here is the leveling bubble. So we have to make sure that when we're setting it up that everything's level because otherwise it might not give an accurate reading. So you just wanna make sure that it's as level as possible. All right, let's go take a look. Nothing I can do about that way. There's no way I can get that level. All right, new plan. <laughs> We're gonna be putting the weather sensor on our chicken run. On the run? Yeah, it didn't work out over there in the garden because the warped board that we had used to hold up the deer fencing was so warped that it was, we weren't able to get it level and it's more of a project than we wanna take on right now. Steve is removing the solar panel that is used to power the light inside of our chicken coop. It doesn't work anymore anyway, so he's going to be just removing that out of the way so that we can put the weather station sensor there. It's in the bubbles, so. Good. 
It went way off. <laughs> the important thing is it's level this way, which not level this way, I can fix it, but it being this way. I'm surprised the screws are lasting that. So it's still level. Good. Level and level. There we go. Now here's the Lion King moment. Uh, <laughs> I, which way is south? It says to have the solar panel facing south. All right, there you go. We have the weather station sensor mounted up on our chicken coop run. You did a good job. That's Thank really you. nice. I like it. We had to move it twice before we found a good spot for it. The solar panel on top that powers the aspirating fan inside of the unit needs to be pointed south. There's also batteries in it they recommend and we also agree that you should use name brand batteries in anything that you power outside. For example we have an automatic chicken door on our coop and it works far better with name brand batteries and does like store brand but all I had was store brand <laughs> so that's what went in there so we're gonna make sure that we have this plugged into a wall outlet inside the house the batteries that are in here are mainly for backup in case you do lose power we have solar generators that we use in the house and so something like this with a USB plug will be really helpful if we're gonna have power for a longer period of time plug this in here Feed it out the bottom. I'm going to plug this in inside and show you how that looks. But that'll do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have a weather station and how you like it or if there's anything that you think that we should add to make our homestead more modern. We really like this kind of stuff. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.